Hi, I have a real treat for y'all today. I'm excited to bring to you a local resident of Colorado Springs who's doing really amazing things on the golf forefront and also for foster children. So I'd like to introduce you to Corbin Cowan with Albatross Golf Society and Footprints Forward Foundation. So I'm gonna ask him some questions. We're gonna learn a little bit more about uh, what, what Corbin's put together here. Full disclosure, I'm a business partner and I'm a member of Albatross Golf and I'm really excited about what he's built up over the last, what, 12 months or so. And really getting some traction. So Corbin, tell us uh, kind of the story behind this and how do those two fit together? So really the, the story of Albatross was really born out of a, a desire and a need to help bring awareness to the 23,000 kids that age out of the foster system. They turn 18 in the foster system and they're given 150 bucks in a trash bag for their clothes. And when I learned about the problem, I, I was just kind of taken back and, but I didn't want to do the same, you know, charity golf tournaments and, and, and that sort of thing. But I wanted something that was, was new and exciting that would, would bring awareness and necessary resources to organizations that, that help facilitate, you know, programs for those kids. And we've expanded it to, to really just all, all at-risk youth, you know, 18 to 24 year old kids that, you know, are, are emancipated from their parents or they're coming out of, you know, foster care or they're coming out of, you know, abusive homes or whatever, or they're coming off the streets. And, uh, and so, you know, it's, it's a, it's a big problem and, uh, and we've got, you know, a lot of need out there. And so we wanted to, to build something with Albatross that would create an environment where people can get involved. Uh, they can have a good time playing golf, but more importantly, uh, they have an avenue to, to, to give to these organizations. Okay, so Albatross is an arm to kind of generate some funding for, but Footprints Forward is its own separate entity as well. So people can make donations to that directly. But that was kind of the vehicle to help produce a lot of revenue for the foundation. Absolutely, and and you know we we work right here in, locally in Colorado Springs with uh, another organization we we fortify, which has got a tiny home community downtown, and they're now launching a second uh, community, and the, the one downtown is called Work Infusion at Mill Street, and, and they've got programs where they bring the ki kids into the tiny home community, give them a safe place to be, but then they they meet with them every week. They've got they've got accountability, they've got mentoring programs, and and so we help supply resources to them because they've already got the boots on the ground and they've been doing it for so much longer right for yeah. me this is a new mission and and so i'm i'm looking for for people that, that have experience working with these kids and helping them progress to the next level yeah i saw a, a, an article in the gazette and you've already been pretty instrumental in, in funding and helping that program so far is that right yeah and um you know, we've got a big, big new mission though with, with an entire new, an entirely new community. So another 16, 18 tiny homes that we'll be, you know, helping we fortify, put together and, and, and fund. And so that's a, a several million dollar project. Okay. And, um, and then, you know, the need just continues. And yeah. so, so yeah. Well, that's great. Well, here at Finch and Gable, you know, obviously we're involved a lot in real estate and that's a passion for us is to help those get housing as well. We've worked with other homelessness shelters and Colorado Springs Rescue Mission, but that sounds really exciting what you're doing here. So tell us a little bit about Albatross Golf Society, kind of what are the details, what makes it different and what are you doing in that arena? So, you know, typically with charity golf tournaments, they're, they're one day, they're, you know, a scramble where you don't really play competitive golf. You're playing, you know, everybody's hitting a tee shot and you pick the best tee shot and then you're, everybody's putting and, you know, and so it's, it can be fun for sure, but it's not, it doesn't get the competitive juices going, right? And, and there's a million of them, right? Every, right. every, every charity has their own golf tournament. And, yeah. and so it's a very competitive environment. And so I just kind of looked at the landscape and, and I looked at some of the celebrity tournaments like the American Century Championship. Uh, that is filmed in Tahoe every year and, and all the A-list celebrities go out there and, and they have a similar format where, you know, the business guys, the amateurs, the, the, the professionals pay the money to, to go out and play a one day scramble and then the celebrities get to go and compete for, for a purse. And, uh, and so I thought, you know, why not create an environment where you can build a community of competitive golfers that want to go out and compete against the celebrities. And so, that's kind of what we're building. We're building a community that uh, allows amateur golfers to go out and compete for purses against professional athletes and celebrities. Yeah, and it's a, it's a traveling tournament, so it's not just here in Colorado Springs. And we have a lot of viewers here that don't even know about golf, but uh, where are some of the tournaments that have been played and where are maybe some future tournaments scheduled? Because they're pretty exciting places. Yeah, so we've had one at Dorado Beach in Puerto Rico and Bears Best in, in Las Vegas during the Super Bowl. Our most recent one was at Atlanta Country Club. Uh, which was a fantastic place. Our next one is is right here in Colorado Springs at the Club of Flying Horse, 
you know, August 19th and 20th. And, and that'll be a great opportunity for, you know, the local community to, to learn more about the partnerships that we have and how they can have a direct impact on these kids right here in Colorado Springs. That's amazing. Now, is Albatross like a one-off thing where people sign up for a tournament or is it a community or how does that work? It's kind of like a golf club. It's a membership organization that gives people an opportunity to come together on a frequent basis. You know, we'll have eight to 10 events uh, over the next 12 months. And so, you know, with people's schedules, we want to make sure that everybody has, you know, a, a good opportunity to get three, four, five tournaments in and get an opportunity to, to not only get on the golf course, but to network. And it's a great avenue to you know, to bring awareness to the, you know, to the cause, yeah. uh, and then gives them a, a simple and uh, fun way, you know, to give back. Yeah. Now I'm a member and I've played in two tournaments so far and I've made some really good networking connections, had a good time, didn't win the purse, but you know, there, there's always the next one. So uh, you mentioned celebrities. How many celebrities are involved or have been involved so far with Albatross Golf? So Albatross is, um, has got a partnership with the Celebrity Golf Association. And they've got hundreds of celebrities that have committed to to going and playing in, in, in their events. And so some of those events will, will, will be, you know, 20, 30, 40 celebrities, you know, professional athletes and, and retired football players and baseball players and so on. And then some of them will be more networking driven, where maybe we'll have one or two celebrities that are from the local area, you know, like Colorado Springs, maybe we'll pull some of the Denver Broncos or the Colorado Rockies to come down and play with us. But it'll be more about the relationship building amongst members and amongst, uh, amongst you know, potentially new members and the competition, right? Yeah. And then our commitment is that every event we're raising capital and, and resources for you know, kids that are at risk at, in that at risk youth category. As we get bigger, you know, we'll expand beyond Colorado Springs. And when we do an event in Atlanta, you know, maybe we'll partner with an Atlanta organization, but right now we've got a lot of need right here in Colorado Springs. And so we want to, you know, focus on that first. Start here. I like yeah. that. So wonderful. Now you mentioned competition. Tell us, I mean, if, if people are, are golfers, they're interested, are they going to be competing with scratch golfers? Do they have a chance to win prizes? And I understand the prizes can be pretty sizable. We do follow the rules of golf. There's certain things that you have to do if, if you're an amateur golfer in order to accept a purse and we follow those rules. But the prizes are, are getting, you know, bigger. The last event, the winner took home a total of 25000 Wow. And, uh, and cash and prizes and other things. And so that is definitely going to drive some excitement and it changes the, it changes the whole feel of the game, right? Where every 6, 10 inch putt matters. Yeah. Right, you got to focus on everything. Puts yeah. a little pressure on. It does. It, it was so funny. Our last winner was doing push-ups on the side of the green because he he was getting so nervous and he was trying to calm himself down. And so, uh, it you know it just it's a little bit of a taste of what the guys you know out on tour and and in the corn ferry tours and those things you know the kind of pressure that they really feel because there's there's you know real money on the line. Yeah. But every event you know we're we're committed to raising money for for the foundation and. Um, and so all of that is really exciting, but we never want to lose focus of the reason why right. it exists in the first place. But it is, it is handicapped, correct? It is. And so we've got plus, you know, two handicaps competing against, you know, 15, 16 handicaps. And we've created a format that, uh, that really levels the playing field. Okay. We've had, you know, the last winner was a 12, 13 handicap and the guy right, you know, nipping at his heels was a four handicap, you know, and the, the last event before that, you know, an eight handicap one and a plus one was, was it was in second place. And, and we had a plus two win and, and a, a 10 was in second place. And so, you know, we've got an opportunity for everybody to compete. We feel like it's, it's even the playing field and, uh, and it's a fun and exciting format. Yeah. Well, that's what I've enjoyed about it. I'm not the world's best golfer. So if you're out there thinking, Hey, I'd love to be involved in raising money for youth at risk and you like to play golf, but you might be a little bit of a hack, that's okay. You know, I, I didn't place last on either tournament that I've played in, but it really does make it a fun environment. And I'll tell you what, like at the beginning of these tournaments, we're able to raise quite a bit of money just at lunch, I remember in that last tournament. Yeah. And that's what this is all about. And we're so excited that this is in our backyard here in Colorado Springs. So Corbin, if people are interested in learning more about Albatross Golf and they wanna sign up, and try out the uh, event that's coming here in Flying Horse in August. What's where's the best place for them to go, or how do they contact you on that front? The best way is to reach out to me, Corbin C O R B I N at albatrossgolf.org, or go to our website, which is www.albatrossgolf.org, 
Uh, and then I'll, I'll connect with them and get them the, the link to register for the event here at Flying Horse and, uh, and get them out on the golf course. Everybody gets an opportunity to come and play as a guest before they decide whether or not they want to join and do it, do it on a more regular basis. And so we've got a, a you know, it's going to be a great, uh, great atmosphere here in August. The weather in August in Colorado Springs is amazing. We've got a great golf course, two great golf courses, as a matter of fact, at Flying Horse Main and Flying Horse North, and uh, and we're going to have a great field. Yeah, the, the courses will look amazing by August. Yes. It'll be just perfect. Yeah, it's your opportunity. You don't have to jump on a plane or get in, stay at a hotel to try it out while you're here. If you're interested, definitely check it out. Like I said, I'm a member, and it's been really worth it. It's been really good. Now, those of you out there that don't play golf, hopefully you're still watching this video because the real key factor for this is we're raising money for at-risk youth. Now, if they wanna just make a separate donation or be involved with the Footprints Foundation, but they're not a golfer, what's the best way to reach out to you on that? Still probably it's the same email address. I'll send them a special link that, that, that where they're able to uh, donate directly. Okay. And then if they're a Colorado resident, uh, we'll actually have them donate directly to We Fortify because there is a, uh, a special Colorado tax credit oh, that's uh, awesome. that Colorado residents get. If you're outside of Colorado, we'd still love your support, but we'll run that directly through Footprints Forward Foundation because you can't take advantage of the Colorado tax credit. So, yeah. But the, the tax credits, it is specific to organizations that have been approved to help uh, youth get off the streets and, and with youth homelessness. And, uh, and so that tax credit is a, a really valuable thing when it comes down to tax season. Nice. Now, all, all great organizations have goals. What is your goal this year, either dollar-wise or number of youth? You know, is there a goal, your goal that you have set forward for 2024 that you'd like to ask for help with specifically? So for for 2024, you know, we'd like to, to raise a million dollars for the Weed Fortify organization. Awesome. Our, our big goal is to, to help 100,000 at-risk youth transition out of the foster system or come off of the street successfully and, and get education and, and, you know, secure housing and employment over the next 10 years. Awesome. So it's a, it's a, it's a big goal, but I think with, you know, with, with the type of momentum and the type of awareness that we're going to be able to, to create with with Albatross and, and the people that are getting involved, I think it's doable. Yeah, now I know there's individual levels, there's corporate sponsorships available. If you're watching this and you have a business, there's business write-offs on top of the charity piece and you know, Corbin will help you there, but this is a really good and exciting you know goal here to help the youth, especially right here in our own backyard. So any last words? No, I just, I appreciate the opportunity to come and talk with you and you know, everything that we do to, to bring awareness to this problem, to the, phenomenal organizations that we have right here in Colorado Springs that are working tirelessly to, you know, to make an impact uh, is, is, is great. So awesome. I really appreciate it. All right, Corbin, well, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Again, if you would like to reach out to Corbin, we'll have information in the links below or in the article. Thank you so much uh, for supporting the, the extra charities and things that we do here at Finch and Gable. We like to engage local businesses, local charities, and local organizations. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll hope to see you out there on the golf course.